double down. You may have heard of the expression, we lose money on every sale, but we make it up in volume. So that's pretty self-explanatory, but it means to me that people try to cover over inefficiencies, lack of depth, lack of effective strategy by manipulation, subterfuge, chicanery, whatever you want to call it. So people think, oh, in the back of their minds or subconscious, I don't have the best solution, but I can cajole people, I can flatter people, I can, you know, they say hope is not a winning strategy. I mean, personality, like Trump, and I'm not anti-Trump or pro-Trump. I mean, I think like anybody, and I'm not doing a moral equivalency, I'm not going to vote for Trump, that's for sure, but I think there's some things he does well and some things he doesn't do well. But he believes, it seems to me, in my opinion, that, you know, personality trumps, uh, pardon the expression, uh, you know, deeper knowledge because, you know, like how he relates to North Korean dictator, like if I just get them in the room, I'll, I'll work it out. I mean, personality does play a role, but it's not the critical role. The critical role is the value proposition. So if you're losing money on small transactions, like you should always do your business model small to see if it works and get the kinks out. You know, lead startup and iteration, MVP products, uh, most minimal viable product. And then only when it's only when it's effective on the small scale do you start to scale it up. What happens is people are lazy and they want to double down on their inefficiencies. They want to double down on their mistakes. They think, oh, I'll be bolder and then I'll capture the market. Oh, I, you know, I will just flatter someone or I'll pressure somebody. No, it's like these are not substitutes for quality. You know, it's you don't do uh, style over substance. Um, you know, a lot of the doubling down is a mistake. I mean, you should double down on your great hands. Like in poker, they teach you that if you have a winning hand, you know, double down because you can only win. You can win a small percentage of, of hands, but still come out ahead. You know, if you bet big and you know, setting aside bluffing and everything else, you know, in, in, in group dynamics. But just the idea is that when you have something really good, you bet you bet heavily into it. But you don't just double down to double down. I mean, some people think like the greater sucker idea that like I'll just keep betting double and double and double and double, you know. And, but you're going to run out of money before that works, because um, you're not just going to get lucky. I mean, the world is too efficient. If you don't really have the quality, so quality is really you know doing better research, you know, not going for the easy answers. Like a lot of people. You know, life is competitive in every field. If you don't like keep digging and digging and digging and researching and researching and researching and testing and testing, um, you're you're going to be, you know, more the surface level. And just because it's the best that you've done doesn't mean that it's the, that it's the best possible. It doesn't mean that it's the best out there. So don't double down on on things that aren't working. If they're not working, figure out why the heck it's not working, make it better, and then when it's better, then double down.